Rest now, Mrs. Putrick. Doctor, what is it? Mrs. Putrick, as you probably know, the eye is the second most sensitive organ on the human body. Your young daughter Angela's eye muscles are extremely weak. They can barely hold up what she sees. If any part of the human body has a tendency to break down, I'm afraid the eyes have it. Tony, jab your left. Keep your left up. Your other left, stupid. Hey, 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 take it easy, will you, sailor? I just spar with the kid. Oh! Hey, Malloy! Show me how to fish. Uh, Bob Chick's Deli. Sandwich has her up. Hey, punk guy had a corned beef on right. The name's Joey. I buy a half a cheese out of the pickle. I'll be 15 cents. Yours is 20. Catch me tomorrow, punk. It's cash and carry, mister. You want some sandwich back? Ah, oh, come on, sailor. Give the kid his money. Play out! Ooh. Hey! Just deck, son? That's Sailor Lawson, the number two contender. Well, he's number 20 in man's. Wait, wait. Uh, what's your name, kid? Joey. Popchick. Oh, yeah. The old man runs a deli. Pop Popchick. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> man, you got dynamite hands, kid. You ever think about uh, boxing for a living? Uh, fighting's for suckers. I'm going to night school to be a lawyer. These hands are for reading books. Mm -hmm. Well, never change your mind. Yeah. Gloves, Malloy. Hey, you had the champ. <laughs> yeah, I had the champ. You were riding high. Sitting piggyback on the rainbow. Both hands on the brass ring. High Alamo in the sky. And then the circus left town and it was time to pay the pipe. So you see, kid? Kid? Every time. Sis? Hi, Joey. Pop. Joe? Mama? Hello, Joey. <laughs> Who else comes home to such a kitchen full of love? Three dollars in tips today. Here, Mama. A buck and a half toward the rent, and a buck and a half for the law school job. <laughs> Mama, what's the matter? Huh? What, Ma? Pop? Ma? Ma? Pop? Mama took your sister to a big specialist today. Her eyes are worse, too. The shadows have started. They can't do nothing. Oh, Angie. Angie! It's okay, Joey. I've seen a lot already. I'll remember. Nothing? All I can do is nothing? There's one man in Vienna, an eye specialist. Well, then that's where we're going. He charges $20,000. What? He gets $10,000 an eye. 20,000 bucks. And where's car fare to Vienna? The whole thing we figured would be $24,000, $25,000. Twenty-five thousand grand. 
Well, that's all the money in the world. Joey, don't eat yourself up. Well, what am I supposed to do? Have a laughing jag because we're poor? Sure, sure. When you're born, they throw a pair of dice somewhere. 7-Eleven, you wind up on Park Avenue. Well, take a look around, folks. This family came up craps. Here you are, Socrates. Come on, come and get yours. Plato, some for you. Joey! Betsy. Andrew. Her eyes. Oh, is there any hope? Yeah, sure. Hope's a town called Vienna. A specialist? The only one. Well, then she can be saved. Yeah, sure, saved. You know what they charge for an eye? An arm and a leg. Joey. Joey, whatever else, you've got me. You got some bargain, Betsy McGuire. You go with Joey Popchick, the millionaire delivery boy. Six years, I never even bought you a soda or a tango bar. Joey, don't torture yourself. Oh, Angie. Angie! Cry, cry, Joey. Go ahead, cry. Ah, there's no money in tears. What's this? Gloves Malloy. It's a business card. It's no business card. This is a ticket to Vienna. That's a tough racket. You gotta understand it. You gotta run, sweat, spar, punch. You gotta give it and take it, take it and give it. You gotta turn your hands into iron, your body into steel. You gotta work till fighting's the only thing you think of. Until you're sharp and fast, you can destroy a man in the ring. When's my first fight? Tuesday. Ah, boss, three days? Need for the title. We gotta find what we got here, what kind of animal? I ain't no animal. I'm a Hungarian. And get this, Mr. Fight Manager. You want work? I'll work for you. I'll sweat, I'll train. But just until I made 25 Gs. After that, I'm out of the fight game. Is it a deal? Ah, get lost. We ain't gonna knock ourselves out just for the exercise. Whatever you say, kid. I don't get it. A man's life is his main event, Peanuts. He can take off his trunks anytime he wants. It's a deal. Well, what do I sign? Gloves Malloy never had a piece of paper with no fighter. Here's my contract. Shake. Come out fighting. Dr. Dent. Sis. Joey, as if you could. 
Hey, hey, where's Betsy? Wasn't she by the fight? Well, yeah, she was, but she... Oh, I'll be back. You just go on loving each other. Betsy, baby, you left in the middle. I won. You've been crying. And what'll happen to Joseph Popchick, attorney at law? You'll have to wait. How long should I tell him for? Till his sister's eyes get on a train to Vienna. Joey, hold me. Oh, Betsy. Betsy McGuire from the public library. I'm scared, Joey. Fighting's a bad world. It's full of fast people, fast cars, and fast women. Oh, you crazy monkey. Don't you know the minute I met you, I lost all interest in women? Up, it's my treat. Oh, Joey, it's so good to have you home. 29 fights, 28 knockouts, one decision. Joey has hitched his trunks to a star. These hands are a rocket to the moon. Sure, rocket. Six months in a row, and all I made to San Angie's a lousy 300 bucks. It'll come, kid. The big money will come. Yeah, sure, come. Half a year of tank towns, flea bag hotels. When do I get a shot at the real dough? A crack at the garden. Madison Square Garden. You're good, Joey, but you're not ready. You're not ready for the garden. Joey, Gloves knows best. Yeah, I'll tell Angie that. No eyes this week. Gloves knows best. Now, that ain't fair, kid. Your sister's eyes are below the belt. Oh, I'm sorry, Gloves. It, it's just that I want the garden so bad. I can taste it. You want the garden, kid. You got the garden. We don't want it your way, Vince. Aren't you going to introduce me to your boy, Gloves? Joey Popchick, Vince Marlowe. Mr. Marlowe? Oh, this is my girl, Betsy McGuire. You're a pretty girl, Betsy McGuire. You deserve a champ for a husband. Joey's always been a champ to me. You folks mind if I join you? We're talking business, Vince. And I'm just in time. Yeah, sure. Well, sit down, Mr. Marlowe. I know it's your club. Vito, more champagne. French. Johnny, chair me. You said something about the garden? Three months soon enough for you, kid. Three months? You hear that, Betsy? Jerry. Not ready, huh? Well, tell me more, Mr. Marlowe. <laughs> The La Chez Maison is proud to present, in her eighth month, Miss Troubles Moran. Just a year ago tonight, Bill went to use the phone. Ever since that time, I just sat tight all by my own. Heart a scorching for Bill. What did he do to me? Can't quit crying. Can't quit dying. Since he went out to the phone, I'm torching for Bill. My lips, my 
my life, my love, my fortune is built. Please hang up the phone so I can stop this lonely torture. bone in our body. Yeah. Well, here's to our fight in the garden, kid. Joey, you've got a contract with gloves. We never signed no paper. Say the word, I'll tear up our handshake. Well, don't you understand, gloves? I gotta do it. He'll eat you up, Joey. He'll eat you up and spit you out. Tell him about Sonny Gilbert, Vince. Good young contender, Sonny. But he wouldn't do things your way. Wound up at the bottom of the East River, wearing a cement truss. Your taxi's here, Mr. Malloy. I didn't order no taxi. Maybe you'd rather have an ambulance. Oh, you listen to me, and listen to me good. You ever lay a finger on this man, I'll put your face out. You take it easy, kid. Whatever happens between you and me, he never leaves my corner. Thanks for nothing. Gloves. Wait! Betsy! There's plenty more where that came from, partner. Well, get this, partner. I only fight till I make 25 grand. After that, I get off the merry-go-round. Whatever you say, kid, whatever you say. Now relax, enjoy yourself. Hmm? No, I better go get Betsy. She was my ride home. Don't worry, I think we can arrange something. Johnny. Hey, this is some boat. You'll have one of your own before long. Vince says you're kind of handy with your dukes. Oh, uh, I ain't in it for the cause. I'm sure you could put your hands on whatever you want. Well, how about you? I heard you sing tonight. You're kind of handy with your lungs. Uh, uh, mine's the next slump. Well... This is where I live. Not for long, I'll bet. Thanks for giving me the lift, Miss Moran. Call me Troubles. Call me Joey. Call me tomorrow. Boss, it's looking good. Daytime. I'm a little worried about his night training. <laughs> Yay, Joey! All right, all right. Take five. What are you hitting him so hard? Mama, it's his job. Go hit somebody else for a living. Mama, look. Now it's silk for our Joey. It ought to be. It come from a worm. Can it, gloves? What is it, Mr. Malloy? Ask Joey. Peanuts. Ask Joey what, Joey? Not. Not. Hey, where's Betsy? She ain't here again. She had to work today at the library. But it's Sunday. The library's closed. Uh, of, of course it's closed. Today's the only day they got to wash the books. 
Hey, what's going on here? I ain't seen Betsy since... Aren't you going to introduce me to your folks, Joey? Oh, Mom, Pop, Sis. This is Troubles Moran. Hello. I'm sure. You got a great son, Mrs. Popchick. We'd like to keep him that way, if it's all the same to some people. Here we are in the country, Mr. Marlowe. <laughs> I just thought I'd, I'd drive out to see how my number one boy is doing. <laughs> oh, Mr. Marlowe, this is my family. My mama, my pop. Oh, and my sister Angie. Good news, kid. We're leaving for the coast. Friday night, you fight Tiger Bonds in Hollywood. You're on your way. <laughs> Vince Marlow promises. Vince Marlow delivers. You hear that, Mama? Pop? Sis? The coast! Papa, where's the coast? You know America? Yeah, yeah. It's on the west side. After my fight at the garden, after I get the dough I need, I'm going back to law school. And what I was thinking, you could quit working in that lousy nightclub, and while I'm studying, you could help pop in the deli. Doesn't that sound great? Joey, Joey. After a girl's had a taste of mink, she can't go back to pastrami. Oh, yeah. But where does that leave me? I'm nuts about you. I'm expensive, Joey. Nickels are for pay phones. You want to take me to a deli? There's one on Fifth Avenue. You can get an order of diamonds to go. Almost home. Boy, I can smell it already. I'd be lost without you, baby. It's up to you, Joey. It's all up to you. How's the pigeons? Socrates is dead. Plato's very lonely. Ah, it was so close. It's wrong to get that close to each other. One day you look around, and the one you love is lying dead on a newspaper. Hmm. How's Mama been? Pop? They're fine. And Angie? I'd better be going now, Joey. What about Angie? You can put his slimy hands all over my kid's Oh, sister. Joey, it wasn't like that. I saw what I saw. It's one of my eyes. It didn't throw up. Let go of her. No, Johnny, don't hit him back. Don't. Joey, don't give us a chance. We're young. You'll get over that.
This better be important. It's two o'clock in the morning. I didn't come here to find out the time. I made five grand fighting for you. I want the other 20. Now. Now is a long time, kid. What's the hurry? My sister needs an operation. A new one. She has to have a rat fink removed. I understand. Thing of it is, I don't keep that kind of cash around. You got it. You got it. And I want it. That's right. I got it and you want it. But you'll get it when I give it. You got it? And when'll that be? Thursday night at the garden. After the fight. Gloves knew. Yeah. He knew. He tried to tell me. The fight game's a jungle. No people, just animals. Snarling and stalking. Waiting for the kill. For the chance to rip out your insides. It's funny, isn't it? How many times your guts can get a slap in the face. Yeah. Funny. Go on home, kid. Get a good night's sleep. You'll be okay in the morning. Bitch, baby, what are you coming back to? <laughs> I told you I was expensive. I'm returning it to you, Mr. Marlowe. And you can keep my deposit. How do you get two cents back on a heart? What brings you to the library? Well, if my card hasn't expired, I'd like to borrow an old friend. Well, I think what you want has been taken out and never came back. Well, maybe it's just kind of, kind of way overdue or something. Can I walk you home? New York's a free country. I'm fighting in the garden tomorrow night. I heard it in the papers. It's your last chance to see me in the ring. After the match, I'll have all the money. And she gets on the boat to Europe, and I get on the SS Law School. You'll have everything you want. Except one. What's that? You, Betsy. And everything minus you adds up to nothing. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall, Joey. She hasn't gotten over her last fall. I want to tell you a story, Betsy. It's about a poor kid. Never had nothing new in his whole life. Torn shoes, hand-me-down ice cream cones. Well, then one day, he got turned loose in a toy store. And he went kind of haywire. Well, he went very haywire. But he's back on the right track now. And he knows one thing for sure. He wants to put Humpty Dumpty back together again. Oh, Joey. If I thought you meant that. Well, just say the word, baby, and we'll tap dance on a nickel. I don't know. I need a little time, Joey. Give me a little time. Sure, Betsy. Sure. Tighter, Peanuts, tighter. Hey, don't tell me my business. I take more heads than you got your whole head. I'm sorry. I guess I'm all on edge. Where are his gloves? Did he say where he was going? He said he had something to do. Take it easy, will you, kid? He'll be here. Joey, sell out crowd. The garden's yours. All tied up with a big red ribbon. I feel OK, kid? Hey, peanuts. It's a beautiful night, perfect for a walk. So? So take one. I'm not supposed to leave the kit. Go find gloves. 
Whatever you say, Joey. How you feeling, kid? Nervous? I'm okay. <laughs> you look good. The way I figure this fight won't go more than five rounds. <laughs> five? He'll be lucky if he comes out for the second. <laughs> I guess you didn't see tomorrow's paper, kid. You were knocked out in the fifth. Wait a minute. Are you asking me to take a dive? Dive's an ugly word. So's asking. I'm telling you to. I got a hundred grand riding on this fight. Well, get yourself another boy. It's up to you. You want to spend the rest of your life watching your sister walk into walls? Fifth round, Joey. Make it look good. Fine boy you got there. What do you want? No. Nothing. He was just wishing me luck, that's all. Hey, where you been anyway? Mm. This fight's the end of line for us, kid. After tonight, we both go our separate ways. Hey, I know we had our beefs, but it all worked out. You'll become a lawyer. <laughs> you can come see Peanuts and me on our chicken farm. <laughs> what farm? You ain't got no farm. I will. After tonight, I took every cent I own. Peanuts, too, our life savings. For one last crack at a jackpot. Gloves? What are you saying? I bet it all on you, kid. What, are you crazy or something? Bet you to knock him out. Bet is for suckers, Gloves, you know that. Not when you got a sure thing. Like Vince just said, I got a fine boy. Yeah, sure. Fine. A real prize package. That's us. We're up. Let's go. Okay, kid, this is the big one. This is the big one. Let's go. Let's go.
you. You never threw a punch. He's wiping up the canvas with it. I know what I'm doing. Ah, you gotta hit him, Joey. That's the only way he'll go down. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. He's hitting Pop Chick at will. sail tomorrow. I'm paying for the boat, the operation, everything. With dirty money. This is the only way I know to make it clean. Well, I was wrong about you, Johnny. I thought all gangsters were the same. Uh, you're both a couple of swell kids. Come on, take it. Fifth round, Joey. You know what to do. For the first time in my life. What are you talking? I know what happened, Joey. I put all the pieces together. Now, when you get out of here, you're in real Dutch. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? Call the boxing commissioner. I'm going to blow the whistle on a certain chief hood. Well, I can't just leave you here like this. Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. Now, get out of here, both of you, will you? You did good, kid. Real good. I'll name my first chicken after you.
wait to get a bet down, Gloves. Go ahead, go ahead, shoot. But killing me never solved nothing. Get in, I'm going back. But Gloves said... Do like I tell you. Look what they've done to our gloves. <laughs> Are you kidding? Care ambulance? No, no, Jeff. I got a date with the big ref. Boss. <laughs> no. I'm gonna miss all this. And to me, the canvas was just like velvet. Oh, easy, close, easy. And those weren't ropes around the ring. No, they were strands of pearls. As far as perfume was concerned, I was only alive around sweat. Hear that? Hear what? They're starting the last count. One, two, three. I don't hear that. Gloves. Seven. Eight. I love you, Gloves. I always did. I always will. No kidding. You're pretty handy with your heart. of the jury, the state cries out that the murder of Gloves Malloy be avenged. It cries so loud that I finished law school as fast as I could so that poetic justice could be served and so that I personally could prosecute the man responsible, Vince Marlowe, a cold-blooded killer, a man of the highest scum. We cannot bring Gloves Malloy's death back to life. But we can send Vince Marlowe to the hot seat. Let us show the mad dogs of this city that they cannot gun down decent citizens. Let us show them that the state will not stand blindly by. Let us strap Vince Marlowe into the electric chair and let him walk away only when he is dead. No, no. Your Honor, the prosecution rests. Members of the jury, you've all heard the case. You may now retire to reach your decision. Your Honor, if it please the court, there is no reason to retire. We, the jury, find him, the defendant, guilty in every degree. <laughs> We just got off the ball. We rushed right over. Angie, the operation, was it a success? I can see with one eye tied behind my back. Oh, Angie! Hey, <laughs> look, that ain't all. Johnny! Go on, tell him. I'm gonna have a baby. Yeah. Hey, Angie, that was some operation. <laughs> I'm gonna be an uncle! <laughs> you have a statement for the press, <laughs> Mr. District Attorney. You can say... And the real winner here today 
was love. It was not the state that sent Vince Marlowe to his death. It was love. One thing I know now, that with a family like mine, and with real friends in your corner, but uppermost of all, with the woman you love, at your side, to stand behind you, a man can move mountains with his bare heart. It was the late, great Love Malloy himself who said how hard it is to say that there are no words for it. But I gotta try. Without love, life's a lonely ride to nowhere on one roller skate. It's a kid crying on a broken down Ferris wheel. A one-way ticket to a river full of tears. Because when a man says what's right, what's good, what's real, and what's true, then his mouth is 10 feet tall. Right, gloves? rushed into fighting wings to blaze a trail of heroism across the skies. George C. Scott as the biggest ace of the war. In Zero Hour, war at its best. Contact. Contact. Switch off. Contact. Contact! Take off! Contact! Contact! Here is drama that soars with the courage of youth. Blazoning a story that will write its message deep into the hearts of the world. I said every man goes into the air at dawn. I don't care. I won't do it. Very well. But if you don't go up, by God, you'll stay down. So much killing, Padre. Such senseless killing. Killing and more killing. What's it all getting at? Death, mostly. One man, hedge hopping, flying low, just might get through. I need a volunteer. I'll take it up, sir. After all, someone's got to make the world a more decent place in which to live. What? <laughs> Take off with these knights in shining aircraft, their cockpits climbing ever upward, blazing a path of glory as they search the heavens for the Huns who would gun down our very way of life. Hardly more than boys, yet a great deal more than men. This is the story of those who gave as good as they got and who gave even more than they had. Fight with them, laugh with them, love with them, and even die with them the death of heroes who will live forever. Now, Spats. 
Ah, the feel of pure silk against your skin. Did you get the dozen I sent you, Doc? The generosity of Spats Baxter is a Broadway legend. Well, the big guy only gives us three acts down here. Play him with style, that's my motto. Spat, uh, there's something I, uh, I, uh... I'm trying to say something, I can tell. It's about your third act, Spat. <laughs> Give it to me straight, Doc, I can take it. Spats, you've got six months to live. Six months from now? From your last visit. That was five months ago. Four weeks to live. Thirty days. This is February, Spats. What is it? What have I got? Spats, have you ever heard of the very rare and incurable Spencer's disease? I'm not a doctor, I'm a producer. That's the problem. It attacks mainly show people. You're all so much more creative and sensitive than those of us who are normal. Consequently, you have much finer nerves. How does it work, Doc? Well, first, you'll experience blinding headaches, loss of balance, and finally, conniption fits. Not a pretty picture. Spencer's disease never is. I've known some people to kill themselves before they die of it. Huh. Not me, Doc. I'm going out the only way I know how, with a hit show. Spats, why waste what little time you've got? You've had enough hits. It's not for me, it's for my daughter. My daughter? I never dreamt. No one has ever dreamt. Nor must they ever dream. She's at a swell finishing school upstate. I send her an anonymous check every month. She doesn't know you're her father? Years ago, I used to uh, hit the bottle. Hmm? Until one night, I killed her mother in a drunken car crash. I have never been able to face the child. That's why I've got to have another hit. So that those checks can keep coming long after I'm gone. Spats, it may not show on the x-rays, but your heart is pure silk, too. out of someone, but this takes the cake. Henderson and, Henderson and Henderson sent me. Uh, I am the new. I am the new. Yeah, I am the new bookkeeper. Oh, I'm Mr. Baxter's office right up those stairs. If your tongue hangs out any farther, we can use it for a doorstop. 
I wanted Mr. Baxter? He's not where you're looking. Darn it. Land down, hit it. All right. Are you sure? I came such a long way. I'm sorry, miss. Well, We're all full up. Is there any way I could... Quick, Pop, some water. Yeah. Is it true? The auditions are over? Not for real troopers. That's 30 cents. I can't break a 10, Missy. Don't break it. Enjoy it. Hey, who are you? Let's just say I'm the late Spats Baxter. What's your name, kid? Kitty Simpson. What are you going to sing? I thought a song. Uh, sure beats singing a salami. <laughs> is this the right key? Oh, I'm sure it is. OK, Miss Simpson. Simpson. You're on. Hit it. That's my baby. No, sir, I don't mean maybe. Yes, sir, that's my baby now. Yes, sir, we've decided. No, sir, we won't hide it. Yes, sir, yeah, that's yeah. my baby now. Whatever happened to the shoes? By the way. To the girls. By the way. Oh, they were supposed to be here. Why I'm here. When we meet yeah, I know. the Jeff preacher, said they'd be here on Tuesday. We'll You know, I used to always lose my shoe when I was a hoofer. You did? Third one. Until I started nailing them to my feet. Trixie! Yes, Spats. Take her to wardrobe. She's in the show. <laughs> but, but, boss, we're, we're full up. Call it crazy, call it dumb. I've got a hunch about that girl. OK, Jenks, I'm ready to see the Wall Street number now. Oh, uh, it's, uh, it's not ready yet, boss. Been rehearsing it for three weeks. Why the devil's it not? Ask your star. Isabel again? I have told you not to let her near any booze. Boss, I keep a 24-hour guard on a dressing room door. She must be draining cigarette lighters. We'll never open next month. We've got to open. Do you understand that? We've got to. E easy now, boss. Something the matter? With me? Spencer Baxter? I mean, uh, Spats Baxter? Why, what could be the matter? Spencer, boss? Why'd you say Spencer? Did I say Spencer? Well, that's um, uh, French for um, uh, Spats. Now, you get this number on its feet, and I'll take care of Isabel. Huh. All right, kids, come on, the Wall Street number. Gussie? Oh, Mr. Spatz, she don't mean no harm. It's her sickness. Mm -hmm. And how many bottles did she sick down this time? I swear, there ain't a drop of whiskey in this whole dressing room. Near as I can figure, she's popping it in through the shower. Hmm. Why, Gussie, you didn't tell me that I had a gentleman caller? Oh, if, if y'all excuse me. All right, Isabel. I'll take the glass. All yours. Isabel, why? I've given you everything you've wanted. Stardom, my love, my heart. What good is your love and your heart if I have to sing songs like these? You can't ask a star to sing this junk. Junk? I'll have you know, those 10 songs cost me $500. They saw you coming. All right, Isabel. Downstairs. Downstairs and start rehearsing. 
Maybe you didn't get me, Spats. Either I have a new score by tomorrow, or I walk. And if I walk, you don't open. Then open I won't. Spats Baxter will never be at the mercy of a tempestuous, temperamental... It attacks mainly show people, show people, show people, show people, show people, show people. You'll have your new score tomorrow. You should live so long. Exactly. Let's not stand around, girls. Idle feet are the devil's toenails. <laughs> Comfortable? Oh. Oh, Mr. Baxter. Ah, uh, I'm from Henderson and Henderson. Uh, oh, I, I really shouldn't have been using your desk. I'm sorry. Makes no never mind. Well, Henderson and Henderson, how am I doing? Tip top, sir. Your production's right on budget. Now, if you could bring it in with these figures, you're sure to show a profit. Mm. Mm -hmm. What's this? Um, uh, uh, that's not supposed to be in there. Uh, you see, I'm an aspiring composer. You write music? Yes, sir. And words? Lyrics, too. Mm. This isn't bad. Oh, it's a bit better than bad. Well, let's see if it's anywhere near good, shall we? You play piano? Like a mink. June, moon, croon, spoon. I know all the words by heart. I'm ready to start. But I just need the girl. Hug, snug, bug, rug. I know. Should I stop now, Mr. No, no, no. I'm sorry, Bush. Come on, sir. I don't think this song is giving you the right idea. I wish I could make it sound like I hear it in my head. A lot bigger, fuller. A piano's only got 88 keys, you know? Would you like some more? What it really needs is an orchestra. We'll start with just the rhythm section. June, moon, croon, spoon. I know all the words by heart. As it reads. I just need the girl. Hug, snug, bug, rug. I know all the words to use. I'm shaking the blues. Add the strings. Gee whiz, where is she hiding? Oh gosh, need groom and briding. Golly, why won't she come and find me? Bring in the brass. Squeeze knees, please tease. I know all the words to say. I'm all set to play, but I just need the girl. It builds and it builds. And it climbs, and it climbs, till the whole orchestra is playing to beat the band! Ah! Gee whiz, this just ain't human, oh gosh, need bride and groom and golly, why won't she come and find me, shy guy, my eye, uh, I know all the words to say, perch, skirt, flirt, string, park, dark, lark, Rest! Blush, gush, mush, twist, kiss, bliss, nice, rice, splice, cling, ring, sing, everybody! I just need the girl! Any good? Good! It's the real article. Say, do you think you could write a Broadway score? Oh, it's been my lifelong dream for years. And you can do it. Dreams are the bedrock of show business. But say, want to take a whack at it? Oh, boy, would I? <laughs> Just one catch, though. I need it by tomorrow. Tomorrow? Twelve songs. Twelve? There goes my dinner. Here you are, kiddo. The Taj Mahal. Well, how nifty. Throw your duds anywhere. Ah. My tootsies are killing me. Gee, my first date down from upstate New York, and I've got a swell new friend, and a job in a Spats Baxter show. He's quite a guy, isn't he? A guy and a half. You're kind of sweet on him, aren't you? Mm, fat lot of good it does me. Big Lug doesn't even know I'm alive. He's only got eyes for Isabel Stewart, the witch. You can spell that any way you want. <laughs> Gee, he 
Yorkers are funny. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. oh hey. Say, oh. what are you doing here? But this is where I live. What are you doing here? Oh, well, um, I just moved in. 3B. I'm in 3A, right across the hall. Oh. Boy, what a coinky dink. <laughs> Dick Cummings. Oh, oh um, oh. Oh, Kitty Simpson. <laughs> uh, you know, I really should be peeved. This is the uh, second time today you've made me drop my panties. Oh. Oh, <laughs> well, I mean. Oh. Uh... Uh. I'm sorry. That's OK. Well, what do you do, Kitty? Oh, well, I'm a dancer and a singer. Come to make your mark on Broadway, huh? Well, I uh, think I'm on my way. I uh, I landed a job in a show today. <laughs> well, I always knew you would. <laughs> well, I still can't believe it. This morning I got off the bus and tonight I'm in the chorus. <laughs> Shows to go here. Yeah. What did you say? Oh, this morning I got off the bus. No, and... no, after that. Just, just uh, sh oh, just shows to go here? That's it. A piano on the roof. He was stuffy in my room. You know, talk about you can't believe it. This morning, I was an accountant. Tonight, I'm writing a Broadway score. <gasps> oh, Dick. And I only needed one more song to finish, and now I've got it. Thanks to you. Me? Listen. One day, you're sick. Next day you're healthy, morning you're poor, but midnight you're wealthy. So don't let the bad news throw ya. Just shows to go ya. That's what I just said. Monday it rains, Tuesday it's sunny, one o'clock sad, but two o'clock funny. Remember when ill winds blow ya. Oh. Just shows to go right. Oh, oh, Dick! Don't pay to be a mourner. It never fills your cup. Something's always around the corner to turn your whole world downside up. You know, Kitty, I never even asked you. Uh, what's the name of your show? Baxter's Beauties. Of 1933? Yes. Kitty, mine's called Baxter's Beauties. Of 1933? Oh, Kitty, we're in the same show. Oh, Dick! It only just shows to go. I want everything out. It all goes. The rugs, the furniture, the works. Let's go, boys. I'll be downstairs, Gussie, giving Spats Baxter my walking papers. Careful that piano. I hear the birdies singing. Message loud and clear. Those clouds of gray have faded away. My wedding day is here. Dick, that's the best song you've written today. Thank you. The only trouble is. Flo Ziegfeld's got a wedding number. Such a good melody. Maybe we could change the lyrics. Don't you dare change one word. Isabel, darling, you were listening. Well, what do you think? Are they all as good as I just heard? I'll tell the cockeyed world. And who's the genius responsible? Oh. I guess that's me. Dick Cummings, Isabel Stewart. Hi, I'm sure. Dick Cummings, you're very talented. I have a feeling you're going places. And her room is the first stop. Now, my dear, didn't I promise you a new score? And I knew you'd come through. <laughs>
Any time you're ready, Dick. Okie doke. All right, everybody. We've got a show to do. Wardrobe, scenery, a production meeting in my office right now. We open in three weeks. That's less than a month. All right, snap it up. You heard Mr. Baxter. Boss, boss, what's wrong? Boss, what's wrong? What is it? He almost fell over. Fell over? Uh -huh. No. That was just a new idea I had for a dance step. Oh, Dick. Everybody just loves your songs. Well, I, I never would have gotten that last one without you. Oh, all I did was be there. No one can be there like you did. Hey, what say we celebrate? Dinner at the Automat. Pick me up at eight? With a nose full of nickels. It sure didn't take you long to find Mr. Wright. Oh, I'd give anything if I could make Spats Baxter notice you. Eh. Let's hope that big lummox is okay. He scared the pants off me today. Well? How do I look? Swell gazam. Honest? Honest. That must be the door. Hi. Oh, boy, do you look spiffy. Oh, thanks. I'm afraid I have to break our date. I have to work tonight. That explains your overalls. Isabel Stewart wants to go over the score again, and she prefers to do it after dinner. I've heard that. You're not sore, are you? No. Oh, good. That's why I came over early, before you got dressed up or anything. Thanks. Keep her waiting. You're one in a million, Kitty. Yeah. One in a million. This is some ritzy place. Dick Cummings. Dance me. Broadway star. <laughs> well, it is nearly 10 in the m morning. Just in time to change into my rehearsal tops. <laughs> hey, Isabel, would you think me rash if I said, I love you? Why don't we stay in tonight? Maybe we can do something about that rash. Isabel, how can you go on like this, night after night? Oh, spats, really? Isn't it a bit early to be so boring? It is the talk of Broadway, how you're carrying on behind my back, in front of my eyes, right under my nose. I'm shaking the blues, cause I just found the girl. <laughs> Dick 
Cummings is just a boy. Oh, and such a dreary boy. But the dreary boy happens to write wonderful songs for the star, whom he mistakenly thinks is in love with him. <laughs> What do you mean, no costumes? We need them to rehearse. We open next week. Boss, I keep telling you, they just came and took them back. Why? They were perfect. But the check wasn't. It bounced. It bounced? Spats Baxter never passed rubber in his life. Here, boss. Want to see the books? Look at this. Right here. And this item here. Who's been spending all this money and charging it to the production? Isabel. Boss, boss, you all right? Boys and girls. You're all a grand bunch of kids and you've worked so darned hard, it pains me to have to tell you this. Every penny I had is in this production. And now I have to have $36,000 in order to open. And I never wanted to open a show any more than this one. But there's just no way I can get it up. You're all free to look for other jobs. I hope you find a producer more worthy of you. Oh, I thought you'd gone home, Mr. Baxter. This is my home, Pop. Oh, we've been down before. You'll see you'll be back on top with a hit show this time next year. Next year. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone, Pop. Right. That's the best way to be by yourself. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Mr. Baxter? Hello. My name is J.D. Pennington of the law office of Pennington and Blaine. You fellows don't lose much time for closing, do you? Oh, on the contrary, we aim to keep you open. I believe $36,000 was the amount you required? What kind of a gag is this? Oh, I assure you, Mr. Baxter, it's not a gag. It's an interest-free, bona fide gift. But who? From a client who prefers to remain anonymous. Your client wants no conditions, no strings? Only one. We should go out and knock him dead. Good night, Mr. Baxter. Just chose to go here. Hello? She's asleep right now. Who should I... S I'll tell her. Who's that? Some goofy Gus. Said he was your lawyer and that the package was delivered. Good. Hey, kiddo. You can tell me to mind my own beeswax if you want. But what's going on? I gave Spats Baxter $36,000. Holy moly, where'd you get that kind of jack? Oh, I've been an orphan since I was three. An orphan? Gee, that's a tough break. Yeah. It isn't bad. All you really miss is parents. True. What about the money? All my life, I've gotten a monthly check from some mysterious stranger who's probably rich. Since I get it anonymous, I, well, I thought that was the best way to give it. Kitty Simpson, if you're what orphans are like, there ought to be a whole lot more of them. Guess who? Guess who's sorry? Kitty, I know you're 
sore, and, and you have every right to be. It just takes some guys longer to come to their senses, is all. I had no idea Isabel was playing me and Spats Baxter for a chump. Can you ever forgive me? Oh, Dick. As if you had to ask. Spats. Yes. Tomorrow night is opening. So? So this. If that little tramp is in the show, <laughs> you open without me. Yes. Um, Jinx said you wanted to see me? Sit down. Kitty, I've been around a long time, and you can take it from me that Broadway is a queer racket. Just a few days ago, we had to close down. And then, out of the blue, some unknown angel handed me a bundle of money that makes it possible for us to open tomorrow night. Yes, I heard that. But I'm afraid every silver lining has a cloud. Kitty? I have to let you go. You're out of the show. But... But I don't understand. We'll call it the compromise of a desperate man. Nothing must stop this production from going on. The future of a young woman I don't even know depends upon it. I'm sorry, believe me. But sometimes cruelty can be very unkind. Please, Mr. Baxter. I understand. Funny. I let you down, and here you are cheering me up. You're some girl, Kitty Simmons. I would have been proud to have been your father. Gee whiz, where is she hiding? Oh, gosh, need groom and briding, golly. Why won't she come and find me? Shy guy, my eye. I know all the words by heart. Park, dark, lark. Wrist kissed bliss. I just need the girl. Hey, Trix, where's the angel? Putting her wings on? Hey, why the long puss? Where's Kitty? Yeah. Dear Trixie, by the time you read this, I will have written it to tell you I'm leaving town. I'm sure Broadway will miss me. Ha ha. Please say goodbye to Dick. Bless a jillion thanks for all you did. It was a nice dream while it lasted. Love and kisses. Have a scene. Kitty. Nothing happened between you two, did it? No, things have been going great with us since this afternoon. Oh, I miss that little monkey face. Don't worry, Trixie. I'll find her. If it takes me every day off for the rest of my life. All right, bleed your foots, kill that baby, and give me a big blue behind. No, that keys is gonna go higher. No, more sequence, more sequence for the mine shaft number. All right, everyone, on your toes, we open in an hour and a half. Boy, I sure got to hand it to you, boss. This is one I never thought you'd pull off. I'll believe it when I hear the overture. This is bad! This is bad! It's best you get on up here! It's Miss Isabel! Kids, everybody out. Come on, you got work to do. Come on. Isabel. Is she dead? I'm worse. She drunk. Uh, go boil a big pot of coffee. 
better stick her foot in it. She done broke it. I'll get the doctor. Jinx. Boss. Post the closing notice. Tell the box office to refund the tickets. Right, boss. Wait a minute. Spats. What would you say if I told you there's someone who could take Isabel's place? Someone who knows every song, just about every step in the show. What are you talking about? Who? The kid you fired yesterday. Kitty Sampson? Simpson, right. She can do all that? Absolutely. <laughs> Put an unknown in a star's role on opening night? <laughs> you know, it just might work. This is one hitch. She skipped town. No. What would you do if you put up the money to save a show and the boss fired you? Good Lord. You mean she's the one who, who put up the $36,000? Give the man a cigar. Where would a youngster come into that kind of moolah? Some stranger's been sending her a check every month since she was three. Hold on. Where did you say she was from? Uh, upstate New York. Upstate New York. That little mole of hers. Good Lord. What is it? Kitty Stimson is my daughter. And if I'm right, you can find her at Mrs. Updike's School for Young Women in New Rochelle. Say the word, Mr. Baxter. Boss, it's 7 o'clock. The curtain goes up in an hour and a half. New Rochelle? It's only 45 minutes from Broadway. Well, don't stand there like a bunch of ninnies. Get going! any longer what should I do hold up the overture right good idea well doc I said this about work give her a sedative she'll be all right how are you spats quite a while since I've seen you a month today any signs symptoms not bad except I faint more than I'd like to boss they're getting restless out there. Start the overture. They'll get here. I, I know they will. Just too bad. Oh. But she is a star of the new Spats Baxter show. Did you say Spats Baxter? Uh huh. Why he once paid for me kid's operation. Hey! Follow me. Come on, Kitty. Follow him, Mac. Got a whole lifetime to be together. A 
whole lifetime. <laughs> but first, you've got a show to open. What? I've never starred in a Broadway production. Listen to me, young lady. When you were no bigger than a button. Bedtimes, I'd wrap you in a blanket. I'd take you outside to look at the twinkling, glittery sky. Daddy, you'd say, Daddy, someday will you make me a star? That day is tonight. You can do it, Kitty. You will do it. You're going out on that stage of Fremson, but you're coming back a Baxter. Just as dull as can be Only blues and only sorrow I'll never have a bright tomorrow will be in Clover. Or under it. I found my barn in Clover, so gray clouds disappear. My gloomy past is over. My lucky day is here.
it like that. Oh, gee, I'm sorry, sir. Fill it, fill it. Boss, it's the finale. It'll ruin everything. What do we do? These things happen. Wisely, my dear, the last of the Baxter. been his doctor and dearest man. He hasn't got a Chinaman's chance. Oh. Oh, tears for Spats Baxter. Listen to that applause. I've got my baby girl back. She's a star, boss. You can see it on every critic's face. Take care of her, Dick. You'll answer to me. after both of them, Trixie. Like you always looked after me. <laughs> Only I was too blind to see it. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? One minute, you're standing in the wings. And the next minute, you're wearing them. It just shows to go. <laughs> 